Hi everyone, my name is Clint. I'm with The Bully Barn. And I want to do a video today um, on why I aspire to, uh, to become a breeder. And I know that there, this is a touchy subject for a lot of people. And there's other options out there other than, um, other than breeding. There's people that are out there that are pro breeders. Pro, there's people out there that are, uh, that are pro uh, adoption. Okay. Um, with that said, I don't think that being judgmental is the uh, the best way to prove a point. And I think that there are shitty people that are they're shitty breeders, and I think they're shitty pet owners. And that is why I've actually wanted to uh, to come up with this channel. Um, wanted to have this channel specifically for how to be a responsible um, pet owner and potentially a uh, a pet breeder as well, or dog breeder rather. So with that said, I do think that it's fair. Uh, that you know a little bit about myself and why I've chosen this breed. So I'll go into that now. So growing up, I always had a fascination with the uh, the pit bull. Um, I remember growing up and um, and watching the little rascals, you know, being told that that was a pit bull, and so that kind of started the uh, my interest in the uh, in the pit bull. Um, as I grew older, there was a lot of negativity that was surrounding the uh, the pit bull put out by the media. The media was stating that they were they were very animal aggressive and not only animal aggressive but also uh, aggressive toward uh, toward humans and so basically they were all around a uh, a bad dog and a bad breed so my experience up until this day has been nothing but positive um, with the uh, the pit bull um, as a society I think that it had a, a positive impact for the uh, for the pit bull you know like I said there are uh, shitty people out there and those shitty people had tended to be happen to be doing really bad things with the uh, with the breed. So what happened was the animal lovers and lovers of the breed got decided to get together. Uh, they created a, a network of people and decided to to take an honest assessment of the pit bull and see what positive characteristics they could breed or wanted to keep it with the uh, dog and what negative aspects they wanted to uh, to breed out. So that's how we came up with the American Bully. So they initially started out with the uh, Amstaff, American Staffordshire Terrier, and the, uh, the Pit Bull. Those, they bred those together, came up with the uh, characteristics that they wanted to keep. Other breeders had a, uh, a bigger vision, and I feel that they decided to, uh, to incorporate um, other breeds into the, uh, um, into the dog. Uh, such as the English Bulldog and possibly even the, uh, the French Bulldog and that's how we came up with different uh, classes of the American Bully. So the other option is uh, is adoption. So I had that option. Um, it wasn't for me. I wanted a specific breed and I wanted to know a little bit of history about um, about the dog that I was getting as well. So I took the trip down to, uh, to Paris, California. Um, I was able to see uh, Cali um, who was the second pup that I purchased? I was able to see her dad, her mom, and um, her dad's dad, who was uh, the bistro. And um, a lot of times, when you uh, go to uh, to adopt, you know you don't have that option there. Um, a lot of times, you're probably not even familiar with the uh, the breed, and the, that's simply because they don't know the breed either. You know, adoption is a um, works for a lot of people. It's not something that that I wanted to do. I'm going more for a, a, a specific breed, and like I said, I've always had a fascination for towards the uh, the pit bull. I'm glad that I waited. I feel that the uh, the pocket pocket bully um, is what's going to be right for me. They're more manageable um, because they're a smaller breed, and um, being that they're a companion breed, you know the energy levels are are quite a bit lower than a working breed, which is uh, what the uh, pit bull was was bred for. So, uh, with that said. Uh, that's a little bit about myself. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you please feel free to uh, make comments, uh, offer suggestions, and until next time, you guys take care.